Northwest Bus Sales. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Eric. Northwest Bus Sales. Actually, I should say good morning because it's morning. It's like 9 a.m. We're expecting snow, if you can believe that, here in the Seattle area. Jackie behind the camera doing a heck of a job. Let's check out this baby right here. Look at this. Cetra. 2001 Cetra S217HDH. The K stands for Casbor. That was the uh, that was the original founder, Casbor Otto von Casbor. I made up the von part, but anyhow, it's uh, or no, he actually Otto or Carl. Dad gummit, Jack. I can't remember. Anyways, Casbor Cetra, 2001, 59 passengers, S217 HDH. The HDH stands for High Deck Highway Coach. Actually, it's HD High Deck or extra high deck for a touring coach so when we cruise inside here you're going to see how this baby steps up hdh high deck highway coach check out the step treads we're going to see you got some action here that's expected man 2001 you're going to see some wear on the dadgum step, step treads so let's check it out inside all right oh look here show them all these manuals down here look at this driver manual driver's manual check this out operating manual dude we got dude this is some serious literature in here man look yep first aid kit and so on all right 59 passenger check out the cockpit cetra s217 tilt telescoping wheel down here oh my goodness here we go here we go there we go yeah close that door it's cold look at that tilt telescoping wheel I actually drove this back from South Dakota. So, considering it's from South Dakota, I am going to point out a few rusty areas in this in this bus, but I don't think it's excessive. There is some rust, and we'll get to that. So, check it out. Allison B500, B500R, no less, with the retarder, six-speed. Like I said, oh, here's the retarder over here. Look at that. Multiple settings on the retarder. Cruise control, it works. 469,000 miles on the odometer there. I want to tell you that's accurate, but I, man, well, I'm going to shoot you straight, Jack. I could not find the cannon plug in this thing for the life of me. So any of my listeners here, if you guys know where a cannon plug is on this, I'd be happy to hear it. Man, I tore apart the skirting down here underneath. I was laying on my back down here. I can't find it anywhere. There's not even one in the engine compartment. So reason I say that I, I just wanted to verify what the ECM miles on it so AM FM cassette no less REI video system which does work you can see all the passenger lighting switches over here uh, oh my goodness odometer drawn a blank here and then uh, speedometer odometer down here air brakes you can see the temp gauge all the gauges working good I'll tell you what, like I said, drove this back from South Dakota. This thing, dude, I was very pleased with it, man. This thing made stellar power, just cruised right along, cruise control worked on it. it it's, it's, dude, I think this is a great bus, Jack. What do you think? Mmm, mmm, that's all I ever get from him is a mmm. Is ring housing, driver's seat, minus the headrest, armrest. All right, so. Cetra S217, which is currently, check this out, currently owned by Daimler Benz, right? I believe so, or I know they were at one point. I think now they're owned by Evo Bus, which is a subsidiary of Daimler Benz. So, Casbor, Cetra. Oh, you know what else is interesting? You coach guys have heard of the monocoque design, right? You know who pioneered that? Cetra, Auto Casbor, Cetra. So, uh, believe it or not, old school motor coaches used to have a separate chassis, you know, a normal like chassis chassis. Well, Cetra came up with the monocoque design, which has since changed the motor coach industry. And every Prevo, MCI, Van Hool, all the coaches, monocoque design. So, 
Check out uh, 59 passengers, seat upholstery. You're gonna see some fading. You're gonna see some some action like this. It's 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 conducive to a 20 year old bus. So uh, give them a look at the uh, the the old the old school tube monitors. They're all working. REI video system. Overhead parcel racks up top here. You can see some trim pieces and some you know stuff like this missing on the seats. You're gonna see that throughout the bus. Seat upholstery, like I said, fair condition. Grab handles on the back on, well, some of them. <laughs> Row of three here in the back. Lavatory right here as well with a flush toilet. All right. Oh, dual pane tour style windows. Dual pane windows. There is one. I think it's the one right up there in front of you to the right, Jack. That baby's been singled out. No, the next one. There you go. Look at that. You can see. So this one, this is the only glass issue we're really having in here. The rest of the glass, the dual pane windows are looking really good. No scratches, no, no cracks, but that one right there been singled out from the inside. So a lot of headroom here. This would be, man, you could use this for, dude, motorhome conversion. This would be a good church bus, highway coach for like a sports team, something like that. Yeah. Cetra, 217. 217 means it's a 45 footer. Uh, they make the S215 as well, which is a 40 footer. Cetra is no longer manufacturing the two or the 200 series. They have since moved on to a 400 series, 415, 417 models. They actually did a 300 series for a short time too, but mostly that was a European division line of coach. So look at the look, look at the glass up top here. That is the upper window real good i'm not seeing one daggum chip in there no cracks both driver and passenger front windshields in tip-top shape yeah looking good so like i mentioned see the step up here right here this is what the hdh stands for extra high extra high deck so when you're sitting up here i mean man you got tons of visibility look at this tons that's a cetra for you one of the smoothest riding coaches in my opinion great bus all right all right let's check it out outside let's cruise around it out there hit the entry door switch here come on jackie all right cetra i like cetras i do check out the front tire tread here it's got a lot of fair amount of tread there look at that you see that alcoa rims also tons of storage you can see there used to be you can kind of there's there's some holes up here in the billboard they had a frame or something mounted there you know for a placard or something like that this panel has been replaced i remember that being pretty rusty before so let's open up the luggage areas let's look underneath tons of storage on this give them a look under there There you go. Oh, look, it's even got the factory tow bar in it. We actually have another Cetra in stock too, Jackie. You can kind of see the flooring peeling up there as well. I felt that, I, I believe the substructure, the subfloor on that is in good shape. I, I, I poked around on it, smacked it around a little bit. It feels pretty solid there. My guess is reason that, that rippling down there in the floor, I, I don't know, there was something, some, petroleum product perhaps spilled there yeah you are going to see dings and scratches throughout this whole bus stuff like this look at this all over down here got some action down there A ton of storage look at this how about it throw your golf clubs in there. there's wheel chalk here too oh yeah oh there's the vanner right there there you go. Give them a look at these drive tires. I absolutely love these, man. These are the Michelin's XDN2s. These are 315s. Those things are beefy. Look at the tire tread there. That is a nice set of mud and snows. Shot of the undercarriage. You are going to see some mild surface rust throughout this. It's not excessive, 
as I mentioned earlier, there is a little bit of rust, but it's mostly on the body. The undercarriage looks really well. <laughs> Jack jumped on that. <laughs> All right, tag axle. A lot of tread there as well. Dude, battery box right here. Couple of 8Ds. Master switch right in here. You're gonna see the preheater, the side of the engine. There we go. AC, AC compressor. All right, let's check out the engine. There we go. Detroit Series 60, 12.7. Love it. Married to the Allison B500R. R means it's got a retarder. I use the retarder quite a bit going over those mountain passes coming back from South Dakota. Works really well, really well. Can't go wrong with an Allison B500 and a Detroit. Goodness sakes. Show them some of the Show them the rusty areas right here. This is very common amongst Cetras, these old 217s. Also up top here, Jackie. See this up here? Got some rust going on there. Scratches. A little bit of action there on the rear bumper. LED lights in the back, LED ambers, turn signals, LED backup lights. I like this bus. I'll tell you what, this thing looks pretty good. Look at that. I like how high up the passenger windows are. Ton of visibility for the customer, for your passengers. All right, rear tag, Alcoa rims, similar tread has the driver's side tag axle and again Michelin mud and snows right here look at those that is one of the best traction tires you can get on a coach in my humble opinion you can see got some paint peeled off right here you're gonna see that again throughout the coach here and there man it is cold out here Jack I'm really hoping it snows, you know what? Okay, like I said, action here and there. You can see they had a placard deal up there. Look at that, show them the front tire. Good tire tread all the way around this thing. Killer rubber on this. There you go. I think that'll do it. What do you think, Jack? 2001 Cetra 217 HDX. Jack, I just noticed, dude, look at this. This says S417. Who did this? You. No, Jack. Who checked this bus in? Not me. Who did the new arrival on this? Huh? Abraham. Abraham did it. Oh, we got to give him a bunch of, we're going to have to give him some lift about that. Yeah. Anyhow, disregard that S417. It's a Cetra 217 HDH. All right, I think that'll do it for this baby. Appreciate your time checking us out. Give us a look online, nwbus.com. Please call with any questions. 800-231-7099. Thanks. Yeah.